I created this solar sand. It's basically a cooker. I cooked a lot of different meals and this was over a year ago. I had this on various videos. And I see some other folks are starting to catch on to my ideas. That's great. But now I'm going to make a hot water heater. So in this particular one, I have a toaster element. And it just happened to match up to a 24 volt solar panel I have. This 24 volt panel here, 275 watts if I remember correctly. Yes. 275 watts, open circuit 30, 39.4 volts. That's the voltage I'll be running it at. The resistance just matched up perfectly. But they're all different. This one's a little different. Each one's a little different. I have uh, some other ideas I'll show you guys here in a bit. So inside of here, I have a toaster element. Not this particular one. And as you can see, I've been collecting them for a while. But I'm not going to do much more of that. Here's a few more. I think I have one about like this one with the heavier gauge. And it just happened to work out the ohms. This one may be the same. I think I had a couple of that particular heavier gauge one. <laughs> and it works out great with this uh, 275 watt 24 volt solar panel I have. So what I had going is just I had just this full of sand. And I was cooking different meals in here. Now I'm going to transform it into a hot water heater. And uh, I'm probably not going to use... Now this uh, fiberglass, I looked it up. It's in the toasters. You know, I don't know that it's uh, rated. I mean, I got it encased in cement inside here, and I know it's going to be fine. But I've, I've come up with another idea I'm going to show you guys. I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's going to be, I think it'll work. So to drill through this terracotta clay pot, you need a diamond bit. So I have a half, not cheap, this one was 32 bucks. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts a lifetime, or at least a, quite a while. But I needed this to get this uh, copper tube through here, I guess. Getting it started is a little tricky. Let me see. I think you've got to go at an angle, yeah. It's almost a concrete battery, but it's still a sand battery. <laughs> that ought to patch that hole. So. I'll cut that end off probably. I don't know, I might have pulled it off. It looks pretty good. <laughs> so that was the first time I'd ever done this. I put this Odie Flux H20, whatever it is, with this little popsicle stick on here. Spread it around the tube, and I just kind of spun that around a little bit. Now I'm using a silver solder. It doesn't have lead. So uh, you got to heat up the fitting. I know I remember this part. You heat up the, the fitting first because it's got the most bulk and it takes uh, longer to heat up. Once you figure you got that good and hot, you start working the solder on the tube.
think I got her. Guess we're all right. Let that cool a while. It could just be full of cement. It'd be the same thing, but I'm going to put sand in it. Otherwise, we couldn't call it a sand battery. It's going to work fine, I believe. So here's my ends. All soldered on. I'm hoping they don't leak. I bet they don't, but I'm not going to swear to it. Here's the hot water heater for this new shower. 